I think we'll start this out with an example of what the hell the chain is going to have a task. Grab by the function. Qualifier. Yeah, we might be wrong. Well, in order to understand that, we need to understand the So which kind of level do you want? So now I can no longer get to my boogers. not have uh, learned a lot about natural selection in the past, but it's an opportunity to understand how sciences and bra- I can't talk that way, how sciences and branches of science come together. It's one of the things that strengthens our science. It's called consilience. So I'm not really that well prepared to hide in this environment, as you might imagine. I'm kind of loud, and if you were trying to eat me, I, I don't think I'm that hidden, right? Like, I am not phylogenically prepared for survival in this particular environment without a home. So, uh, the idea being that in a natural environment, an organism's history is shaped by the pressures from that environment. I don't know why I'm talking this way now. I'm not hiding anymore. There's no crazy animal. Anyway, so weird. The environment selected for a different behavior. That's annoying. All right. Um, so in natural selection, the, the, the organism's history um, is affected by the pressures that that environment has put on it, right? So that's how you get natural selection. Well, that environmental pressure applies also on a behavioral level. So when you think about behavior, you think about what has the environment selected for, right? So if giving a video in this particular fashion um, is entertaining and you watch it again, then the environment is selecting for this behavior to continue. And surprise, surprise, it has already, right? Um, it's just like how an organism survives over, a species survives over time. If the environment allows that species to survive, it will. If it doesn't, it'll die off. Okay, that's extinction. We get that. There's also a behavioral extinction, but that's a different issue that you may have, you may not have figured out already. Um, so natural selection happens on multiple levels and this is a really cool situation to point out because when behavior analysis started out there was this other field uh, right that had natural selection in it biology okay and then eventually these two kind of merged because the selection processes are basically the same between the two and subsequently you have this blending of multiple sciences into one area bang so that's that's really awesome that's that's we call that consilience and that's how sciences move forward so um, I'm out here laying in grass to demonstrate that my phylogenic history, the history that's been selected for uh, genetically, is not prepared for me to hide <laughs> in this environment. If there were lions around, I wouldn't do very well. And I think that even if I go back here, I think it's still rather obvious that I was here-ish, right? And you might even see my bald head. I don't know, but science is cool. And that's what this message is all about. See you later.